Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking, and today we are doing Advent of the Demon King. We've already done this one before in the past, and it was a super fun set. The last one I opened up, I got the most rare common you can find in Force of Will. Yeah, a rare common. I know it sounds weird, but there are variant cards of some of the commons, and the most expensive one is like 14 bucks. And we ended up pulling it and I had no clue. So it'd be pretty sweet to open another one of those or find some of the other cool variants that are actually some high value. And uh, you know, of course, maybe an Uber Rare would be nice, but we'll see, we'll see how that goes. All right, getting into the alternate little booster box version that Forza will put out. A nice little variant box that they developed that you can actually store your cards in, which is pretty sweet. It comes from the top down, not your traditional booster box type sense. So let's jump into this thing and see what we can get. I got my knife, it's all right. Let's get into this thing. I may have scratched the box a little bit. Oh, uh, oopsies. Sorry. The only problem with this close-up camera is you can't really see the reveal of the box. So I'm gonna have to do it over here. So here we go. Lift it from the top, nice and slow. Voila, all our packs are in there. Look beautiful. Let's get into it. Let's just get this out of the way really quick though. We got our nice basic ruler pack. I forget what's really in here. I don't think there's anything too important. I think maybe we get one promo card and that's about it. Yeah, we got our flaming horse. We got Farica, a couple other dudes, and then all our magic stones. Pretty simple. No real value in this. All right, first pack. Here we go. We've only got two sides to choose from. So we're going from the lucky left side, actually. So let's break into it here and see what we can get. All right, Watchmen of the Coast. I forget a lot of these cards. It's been a minute since I've opened up this set. So but I do remember liking it. You can get a, I believe the Panda J Ruler is in here. This dude. Yeah, I think he's in the set. Alvin Exorcist, cool looking card, Evan of the Demon King right there, and Valorous Tiger Spirit as our rare. Behind it we got the Majin Dark Elf, uncommon foil, pretty sick looking card. Yeah, this is one of those sets that you can actually find some value in some of the uncommon foils and stuff. It's not too shabby, not too shabby. And this set has gone up in price, just like a lot of the other sets actually lately. A lot of people have been upping their price on eBay, Amazon, and a lot of people are running out of stock, which is interesting. Rapunzel, rare. And then we've got one and only very cool looking card as our uncommon foil. All right, I, I don't know if Lucky Left Side is a thing in this type of a box, so I don't think we can solely trust that version of getting lucky pulls. So let's get into the scroll. The mirror is our super rare, very cool looking. And behind it, a jewel shell. Yeah, I remember you, you're not worth anything. Cool looking though. Next in to the Panda Boy. Gotta love these pandas. I wonder I wonder when they'll bring the pandas back. I wonder if it'll be soon. We got the good old uh, Makage sisters, Makage sisters. Oh my gosh, did I almost say it wrong again? Gotta get over that. All right, Rainbow Shimmer, super rare. And woo, yeah, this is actually one that I just saw on TGC player. I was like, that'd be a dope one to pull if I got the full art of Mermaid Visionary. Just a common, not worth anything. But it is a really nice looking card. Very, very cool. You know me, I just like to collect the cool cards. I don't care if they're common or not. Yeah, value of the cards helps a little bit, but I'll take any cool looking character card or something. I'm fine with it. All right, into Unexpected Visitor, into Freyla, the Demon Fire. Very cool. I think I've gotten her before in the last box I opened, but I need to get her in a full art. I can't remember. But Magic Warrior of the Coast, common foil, not a variant or anything. Next one, let's go. We got cool looking mermaids, chicken, a chicken. Did I just see a chicken? All right, Wind Blast. I, I like never pay attention to these commons and uncommons unless I get them in a foil and then I do. All right, I might've just flashed the last card, but there's our rare gem boat, Alexandrite, and then Vampire Bard. What is going, that is some, I don't know how I feel about that artwork. That, that's a little weird. You can do better, Force of Will, come on. All right, let's go into more pretty pandas. The Big Whale, I don't get the story behind the Big Whale. Someone leave me a comment down below, explain to me what that big, this big dude is. He's in a couple of sets, it's like a Megasaur, right? I don't know what his deal is, but he keeps appearing, so I kinda wanna know, I'm curious. All right, there's our rare Ultra Awakening, and then behind it, Sealing the Gates of Darkness Uncommon. Cool artwork on that. Next one, let's go Kraken through. There's the white dragonoid child. This is the card that we got last time. If you get the variant of it, 
good money, good money. So this is just normal. It's worth like a penny, no big deal. Let's keep moving. We got an Advent of the Demon King again, and we got Willful Samurai Spirit. He is dope looking in a full art, so I wouldn't mind getting him in a full art. Dragonoid Rogue, just a common. Where's all our good stuff? They're hiding. Nothing spectacular yet. We need to get some good pulls here. All right, so let's crank through again. Admiring all the nice artwork. There's a Mimosasaur, or Mosasaur as our rare. There he is again, man. A few sets, like I said, hey! There's a good pull. We got our first J Ruler, and it is our Panda Boy, Lord of the Mountain, Terius, Terius Pearl Shine. Very sweet. Let's see the back here. He's got good artwork on both sides, I will say. I do appreciate the artwork on this one. Really cool. He is, he's dope looking. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe he died in the cannon. All right, first good pull down. Let's go. Let's see if we can find some more. Getting into the Envoy, Rampaging, Play Dead. Rare is Elixir's Fighting Spirit. I think this is a good one to get in a full art, so we want to look out for that. And then behind it, a Sonic Bat. Uh, okay, all right. Next, cracking through. Whatever that is, whatever that is, the dog. He is cool. I like the artwork on this one. And more forest, more wave, whatever that is. Unexpected visitor. And then our rare jet ambitious panda. It is a suited up panda. Behind it, destruction of the portal is an uncommon but pretty sick looking card. They always make the stone cards and like the space cards super cool in the set. I appreciate it. All right, next. Heck, we got more mermaids, corrupted knights, blah blah blah, blood sucker, dragon, evil dragon, hellblaze is our rare. Behind it, we've got Lithro Rallying King as our full art rare. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I don't think I have him. Not bad. Next one, into it we go. All right. Another white dragonoid child will be a sign. I don't know. A lot of the variants are actually sold out on TCG Player, which is crazy. So a lot of these are hard to get your hands on. Meijin, Subjugation as our rare. And then Rapunzel as our full art rare. I'll take that. That's not bad. I don't remember her value, but it's a dope looking card for a full art. Next, let's get into it. Come on now. If you guys have been checking out the new reveals, the new whatever they're called. Spoilers, Spo spoilers. The new spoilers for the new set uh, and the new like subset that's coming out in about a month now. It's gonna be under a month by the time this comes out. That was our rare, by the way, Leaf Golem. And then we got Envoy of the Dragon Priestess. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new cards that are coming out with this new set and what you're liking and not liking about the new ones that we're seeing. Another White Dragonoid, that's three now, so I am, you know, crossing my fingers here for something decent with that. All right, Pictorial Scroll, Gem Boat is a rare, whatever. Ah, but we got our next J Ruler and we got Gil, the Gifted Conjurer, sick. I don't really like his artwork, I'll be honest. This artwork is not bad. This one's just okay, it's just okay. But nice, good pull though, good pull. I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not complain. Cool, I think in our next Force of Will video, I might go back to New Dawn Rises. Keep hunting for that secret rare. If you guys wanna see me do that and are excited to have me keep hunting for that sucker, leave a like on the video, leave a comment, and let me know. Devotion Squadron as our rare. And then we got the Valorous Tiger Spirit, which is a beautiful looking card, but I don't think it's worth anything. Very cool though, uber rare, uber rare. Come on now, come on now. Give me the Uber. We got dinosaurs and birds. This is a cool card, I think, in a full art to get. Spider's Web is one, I believe, has some value in a full art. Don't quote me on that. I don't freaking know what I'm talking about half the time. This one is, though, Faith and Darkness. Get this in a full art. That'll be good. I think this one by itself just holds some value, too. And we need to get her. I don't have the card uh, full art of her from the set yet, so I would like to get her. We got Water Mangine as our uncommon foil, which is a beautiful looking card. I really do like this one. Fantastic. Next, let's go. We got a golem on top, that's fine. A kitty cat, very cool kitty cat. I got tons of that promo from later sets. Blood Ritual, the Water Mangine, and the Mimosasaur as our rare. Behind it, Faithful Vampire. Dope artwork on that, that is sick looking. Love that artwork, very cool. I pulled from the left side, come on. We've gotten more luck from the right side, I believe, honestly. 
So Flood, Triceratops, a Beetle, one and only, Lights, Hilda, and Safina is our rare, a dope looking card. I would love to get a full art of this one too. If it does have a full art, that'd be dope. And Leaf Garb as our common. Next pack, let's crack on with it. More golems, more birds, more cats, more pandas, more cute stuff in this set. For something called the Demon King, you would, would not expect a bunch of little just cute creatures in half the set, which is interesting. Optional possession, though, is our rare. And then we got Ra, the golden bird, super rare, full art, dope looking card. All right, come on. I know I'm not a fan of the bird cards. They're usually pretty lame. This one's pretty dope, actually. I, I will admit, this has got some dope looking artwork, so it has a pass for me. It has a pass. Next. Kraken. We gotta get a variant of him. Tower Guardian has a decent variant. I think it's worth like five bucks. Not sure. Could have fluctuated by now. Insight 2 is a good full art to get. And we got Master of the Sky. Seal Sorceress Priestess as our rare. Very nice. Behind it, Duplication Mirror as our super rare full art. Beautiful. I think his name's Welser. He's like the main bad guy ruler, J ruler that you'd want to get. And I don't think I pulled him last time either. So I would like to get Welser if I can. That would be dope. But we did already pull two J rulers. And I think we're capped at that on the box. Unless we have some kind of crazy pack. But Winds of Gold Rare and then Floating Isle Uncommon. Bam, straight into the next one that opened weird. So we're just gonna keep cruising through. Go through the pandas, Dark Elf. Divisor Panda, there's our Rallying King as our rare. Behind that though, a very nice hit. I will definitely take that, thank you. Elixir's Fighting Spirit as our full art. Very nice, I think it's got like three bucks on it. Maybe more, but I'm gonna play it on the safe side and just say maybe three dollars, but you know, prices up will be up on screen. Next, let's go. Dude, we keep getting these Dragonoid Childs. Are you just teasing us here? What's going on, man? Can't, I know it's a common, so it's gonna show up, all right? But still, maybe it'll mean something. Elixir, the Meijin, super rare, very nice. Behind that, Corrupted Knight, a common, but look at this artwork. Yo, I actually had to like get in there without my glasses right now. That is sick. That is actually some sick, sick artwork. Really good job with that one, man. That is dope. Hey, -ya, let's go. Cracking in. We got more of the Makage and more of the Panda. Gem Jail, Leaf Punisher, whatever. We got Dance in the Moonlight. Very nice. Behind it, a Deadly Housefly. What the frick are you? I always forget that you, you can't rip these cards. You just can't. And I wanted to destroy it, but you kind of just have to crumple these because of the nice expert quality of Force of Will. Whoa, some freaking decent aim there on that one. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't screw up my camera for the rest of the video. Now I'm going to be like offset, half my head cut off or something. All right, we got the Guardian. Uh, Seer, Cryer, Mermaid, whatever her name is. Uh, she's another variant you can find, which would be decent to find. Jewel Golem, rare. Let's center up for Grieving Elf Spirit. Is this the same artist, man? It's not, but holy frick is that dope looking. Uncommon. That is really sick. Some cool looking cards, man. Oh my gosh. You guys miss the good old days of Force of Will? The classic days from these sets. The Rhea clusters, the Grim clusters. Leave a comment below. Or do you are you completely happy with where we're at now? Do you enjoy the new sets and the new sagas and everything more than the old. I'm kind of curious. Let me know. Main Majin Subjugation as our rare. Behind it, a Tower Guardian, but not the variants. Not the variants. Next one. Let's go. We got a nice looking cat on the top. Housefly. We could rip that one if we really want to. Yeah, I want my vengeance. I'm sorry. There we go, I feel better now. I've released some of my pain. All right, into the next cards, we got the Falcon Spirit. Falcon Spirit, <laughs> end of the revolution as our rare, and then cross counter, common, but pretty sick. We're coming down to it, we need to find some good pulls here, man. I know, I'm saying that, I got the J rulers, I'm not satisfied, I'm not satisfied. I want a variant card or something. I wonder if you're guaranteed like maybe one variant. I'm not sure how it works, but uh, Lethargy is our rare with the nice looking mermaid. 
And then a Dragonoid Doctor as our common. Eh, not a fan of that one. Next, please. Thank you. In we go. Vampire Bard, not a fan, not a fan. All right, we got that one. Crest of Water, Sword Strike, Uncommon. Corrupted Dragonoid is our rare, fine by me. And then True Blade of Spirits as our common. Come on, lucky left side. Let's start finishing out strong here. Do something wild, do something unpredictable. Let's go. Wind Mei-Jean, Swirling Mermaid, Winds of Gold as our rare. And then a common jeweler's children, which dope card though, the artwork on this is pretty sick, I will say. Very clean, very, very nice. All right, lucky right side maybe for Advent of the Demon King. I don't know, man. Let's go. Come on. Insight, Crest of Water, Corrupted Knight, Uncommon, Uncommon. And we got Ra, not really looking forward to seeing ya. And then we've got Indomitable Spirits. Oh, the panda looks a little bit nervous right there. He's about to piss his pants. Next pack, let's go. We've only got a few more. In to the common Triceratops, whatever it is, Fire Magine. And we got Railua, the Dragon Priestess, which I would love to get in a full art because this is a beautiful card. And you guys know I'm a fan of this artwork typically. Only on a few does it lack, but very cool character nonetheless. Behind it, Magical Wind Chime. Uh, just the common. Lots of the commons. Lots of the commons. We just need to up our foil game a little bit more, you know? Just a little bit more. Shayla's Return. Is Shayla in here? I think Is she a J-Ruler in the set? I forget. She's in one of the sets as a J-Ruler. But we got Possession Stone as our rare. Not a bad one to get in full art. Don't know the value on the normal. And then Voyage to the Floating Isles. Rare full art. Lucky left side. Lucky left side. Two more packs from the lucky left side. First one. Let's go. The Welser copy. Oh, he copied himself? All right. Discover things. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, ah. It's the variant. It's the variant. It's the variant. Let's go. <laughs> I, I can't remember if you can find this in a foil or not. I'm pretty sure you can. I want to say I did find the foil of it, but... There we go, there's a variant of the White Dragonoid Child. All that teasing that this box has given us has finally paid off. Beautiful, 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 wonderful. I think you can, I think you can get in a full art foil, which obviously will increase that price point quite a bit, but I will put that off to the side nonetheless. Very good, very good, Devoted Squadron Rare. And then behind it, whoa, it's getting away from me, Panda Pilot, whatever. Last pack, let's get into it. All right. Boom, straight away. Let's go. Shayla, Crest of Fire, the beautiful artwork of Corrupted Knight, Cross Counter, Leaf Digger, Grieving Elf Spirit with the beautiful artwork, Darkness Magine, and there we go, Diark, the Mad Maiden, which has eluded me the full art of this card. I've gotten her before, but I've not gotten the full art. So let's see what's behind her. Boom! It's a common Callus Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so some quick pulls of the day. Really tried to go back into my memory and try to remember what TCG player had these all priced at. So a couple sleeper hits that could be worth some value. I think Hilda and Safina might be, but obviously foil's better. Faith and Darkness, same deal. I think the foil would be better, and obviously the full art is desired. Rapunzel, though, thinking this one might have a little bit. Also, Elixir's Fighting Spirit. I know this one does have some value, and we did get the full art foil, so not bad. And then, of course, our variant of the Dragonoid Child. Good, good, good. And then our nice two J rulers. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed opening up this box with me. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. We have lots of Force of Will products that will be getting opened eventually, swapping in and out of all different sets and you know, getting into some of the rare stuff eventually too. So I want some extra support before I start opening those. So if you want to see me open those, make sure to subscribe and support the channel. And then we'll get into some of these nasty looking rare, rare sets that are just waiting to be opened up and cracked into. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video right here on the Dragonoid Child out.